hooks on the water. Doing some warm water fishing in a a system that I I haven't really done much of that. Uh, I fished this just upstream of here, probably you know, somewhere within 10-15 miles upstream of here. I, I do a lot of trout fishing here. It flows through a lake and and then becomes more of a warm water fishery, at least from what I've read. Water is actually pretty cool. Um, it's got to be close to 70 degrees. So just wasn't really expecting that. It's going to be 90 degrees today. Um, but it looks a little more trouty than anything, which is kind of nice. I may, may have to revisit this for some migrating browns at some point. But the goal today, drift my trusty bugger and see what we can catch. Let's get to it. Well, we just had the world's largest plastic hatch come through. It's the only thing I really don't like about this time of year. Oh, we got fish though. Smalley. So obviously he wasn't bothered by the by the mass kayaks that came through here. The little guy. basically targeting these first first few runs at least kind of like I would trout drifting this bugger I can definitely see myself nymphing this in the in October for some migrating browns I think the water does slow up a little bit after this first you know few set sets of uh, runs so it'll get to be be like normal, you know, small mouth after that. Mm. There's one. Bali. I had a feeling we'd run into a couple of these systems loaded with them. And they like this current. Not a bad size one. Oh, there he is, little fall fish. Slippery guy. There we go. Oh my gosh. Set that hook a little too hard, I think. It's a sunfish. <laughs> Soaked me. There we go. What do we got? Ah, that was a little smally. So first bite on the Klauser minnow. Just switched to that. The fish just seem a little bit more active. I'm seeing them chase stuff. Ah, oh, there's another one. I'm seeing them chase stuff, seeing minnows jumping. They just 
don't seem as into the bugger, into a slower, slower presentation. And this water is definitely cooler than most of your smallmouth rivers this time of year, so I think it'll be a little bit more active. That's what I'm hoping for. All right, guys, quick update. I am gonna move back upstream to where I parked. Um, I'm gonna go above that. Um, I've been working downstream, but constant stream of you know kayaks and and tubes and. You know, I want everybody out enjoying the river for sure, but it makes fishing difficult. Um, just keeps the fish down. I feel like they're not as aggressive. Um, and almost everybody that's passed me has been fishing, so I'm sure these fish are no strangers. So we're gonna hope for some less pressured, more aggressive fish upstream. I'll see you guys there. I don't know how well you guys can see, but these rocks got caddis on, scuds, even a little stone, stone nymph, fly nymph there. I have seen a lot of fish rising. There are there are bugs in the air. I took a water temp just because I was curious when I got back to the to where I parked, grabbed the thermometer, and it's um, 73 on a 90 degree day in August. And I took the temperature in the sun, so that's really good um, I'm definitely gonna hit this for trout sometime in October um, I know that there there are definitely browns that use this for for migration um, there's plenty of wild trout streams that go in here so could even get brookies I know there's a couple brookie streams come in here too so that's um that's something to look forward to I guess in you know late September early October I mean if it's 73 now it should be fishable by mid to late September. There goes a the small mouth. Right, we're gonna finish up here hour, maybe two hours, and see what we can find. There we go. Feels like a better fish. It is a smallie. Sun's probably right in your eyes. Sorry about that, guys. Not a bad fish. Yeah, definitely no monster. But one of the better ones of the day. tree in there. I just feel like there's probably fish hanging off of it. There we go. There we go. That's some size. We'll get out of that stuff. Oh, shoot. Yeah, you gotta stay out of that. And he's not that big. He's dogging me though. Kind of hooked in an awkward spot on top of the head. Maybe that's part of the reason. Let's go. It's not a bad fish. We'll take it. Not a terrible fish at all.
go. Another one. I'm not sure what we have. I don't know if it's a smallmouth. Oh, that's a smallie. This one's not bad. Probably the biggest one yet. This upper section's where I should have been all day. Of course, I'm running out of time. But at least we finished with some fish. Such a fun fight on this rod, man. I don't know if you heard that, but pretty much my cue to get out of here. It's starting to drizzle a little bit. I can see the storms coming, so I knew it was going to happen sometime this afternoon. But I was running kind of low on time. Anyways, I'm on my way back to the car. But I really don't want to be out here in the middle of a uh, thunderstorm waiting, wet waiting. So be ideal at least. Would not be ideal, I should say. Um, but I hope you guys hope you guys enjoyed this video. It ended up being, being okay. I was a little worried for most of it, but found a few fish. Had a good time in a 90 degree day, you know, waiting a, a cool stream for some smallmouth. So uh, until next time, I'll see you here on SE Outdoors.